we should not overemphasize this relationship, although I think that anything we can do to improve them, well, that's very, very important. I would like to sum up with, you know, mentioning the Palestinian arena. What we have, in fact, concerning the, relate, the ongoing relationship between the state of Israel and the Palestinian population of Judea, Samaria, and the Gaza Strip, well, it's all about, you know, different, two different approaches, completely different approaches. One approach is about separation, and the other approach is about annexation. And I think the tension between, between these two approaches really define, you know, much of the internal Israeli, you know, conflicts. It's, you know, capture a large chunk of the Israeli publicity. And I think that, you know, just managing, handling the conflict, well, probably is not enough for the future. It was right here and there, you know, along these ongoing conflict. But when I look at the future, probably it won't be enough. And Israel should make up its mind, you know, what to choose. Where are we going? Where are we heading in order to stabilize the situation, in order to promise our children and grandchildren, you know, um, better security, more confidence, the ability to concentrate on, you know, more optimistic and constructive matters rather than, you know, fighting the Palestinians. Um, I have no, you know, for this morning I have no, you know, clear answer for that. It's complicated. It's extremely complicated, but we should deal with that with a courageous approach. Um, in order to sum up, I would say the following. Uh, the external, the most severe external threat to Israel is the Iranian threat. Part of it is true proxies, Iranian proxies. Part of it is a direct threat. And I believe that we have all the possible tools in order to cope with this threat, which is a severe, it's serious one, but we can do it by our own power. Um, the second challenge is the challenge of the Palestinian, that imposed on us by the Palestinian arena, uh, and concerning that, the influence of this, you know, threat is much more than, you know, security alone. It's really defined the nature and the, I would say, the prospects of future Israel. Um, I believe that the destiny of Israel will be determined more in Gaza, Ramallah, and Jerusalem rather than in Tehran, the Mesek, and Beirut. That's what I can say, you know, in order to conclude that. And, you know, we heard, you know, from my former, from the former speaker uh, that Europe is mainly occupied with the question of immigrants and terror. And concerning that, I would say that we have a very successful uh, experience in blocking immigrants, uh, illegal immigrants, and we have a nice body of knowledge how to cope with terror uh, and how to bring terror to a reasonable level in a way we can, you know, live with that and flourish, although this, you know, ongoing threat. Um, I must say that, you know, in order to conclude, is that I'm quite optimistic. I think that we can cope with our future challenge in a very successful way, 
And I think by keeping an open and vivid society, we can do it in a very promising way. Thank you very much.